Some of these are not genuine combos. Tool assisted such as the Tekken 3 with Jin and Paul. La mayoría son fakes. Taz. In case you wonder what's happening in the Tekken 3 clip, this can be done by moving towards the invisible edge of any arena. Stages seem like infinite and looping, but if you walk long enough, that's why there's infinite time set, this will happen. Some juggles pulled like that are hilarious and foreshadowing infamous Tekken 4 wall glitch infinite juggles. Tekken 4. There is a sweet spot in some stages at the intersection of two walls. Launching the opponent into these very specific spots allows for infinite juggles. Came for the cinder combo. Damn, Killer Instinct was amazing. I have waited so long to see you finally put a Killer Instinct combo into a video. Killer Instinct, arcade is one of the best fighting games of all time. The Cinder KI one was the first infinite I ever did. On the 3D stages, it will zoom out so far that the stage disappears eventually. I think there's a game revision that removes it. Under normal conditions, the camera will not actually zoom out, no matter how many reps of this infinite you perform. However, with the help of something known as the Broken Ultra Glitch, it is possible to begin hitting the opponent higher and higher, causing the camera to zoom further and further out. Although the stage will never disappear, if you loop the infinite for about four minutes, this happens. very shocked that you didn't include Bishaman or Felicia's ones from Darkstalkers, the Night Warriors. even begin to bring up Vampire Savior, without the mention of Stucco's Infinite for Bonnie. There are tons, again, tons of KOF 94 to 2002 Infinite combos I wish were included in this video. I'm surprised there's only one clip from KOF. The King of Fighters 94. There is a bug in this game that allows command grabs to OTG. This means that some characters, like Goro, can loop them infinitely. The King of Fighters 95. In this game, Joe can cancel his normals into a neutral stance for some reason. The King of Fighters 96. Geese Howard KOF 96. No KOF 97 this video. Your video is bad. The King of Fighters 97. In KOF 97, whiff cancelling specials can give them unlimited juggle potential. This leads to many infinite combos. The King of Fighters 98. In KOF 98, some specials have naturally infinite juggle potential. The King of Fighters 99. Here is another example of a special with infinite juggle potential. This combo will not drop until the opponent is KO'd. 
the King of Fighters 2000. The King of Fighters 2001. You forgot Ignis in King of Fighters 2001 and 2002 Unlimited Match. The King of Fighters 2002 Unlimited Match. In both KOF 2001 and 2002, Ignis is a banned boss character. As such, he can perform some very simple and completely broken infinites. Well, that was not the Iron Man infinite I expected. The final fight turnaround punch at War of the Gems. Iron Man's infinite is exactly how people used to beat Final Fight 1. Iron Man got that Cody Final Fight infinite. Tony took pointers from Cody. Cody, yo, you want to learn how to do a f infinite? Iron Man, I'm listening. Good compilation, but you really needed to show something from the original arcade version of Street Fighter II, Champion Edition. Probably the most broken thing in the history of Street Fighter. If you get hit by a bison scissor kick, assuming the player knows how to combo, the round is over, even with 100% health. You forgot the infamous Tekken 5 Steve Sway 1 won infinite. This infinite was only possible in the initial release of Tekken 5 and was patched out in a subsequent arcade update known as Tekken 5.1. Fatal Fury 3, Andy, Terry and the Jin Twins. Andy has a special move performed by holding down for two seconds, then hitting up a heavy kick. If this is the first attack that Andy lands in a match, it puts the opponent into a stunned state. It can then be looped indefinitely. Terry can combo into and out of his crack shoot special. This leads to him having a fairly straightforward infinite. Both of the Jin twins have so much frame advantage after a far light punch that it is possible to quickly dash back in following the hit and continue the combo. It is worth noting that both Jin Chon Shu and Jin Chon Rei are technically boss characters, so it's not too surprising that they'd be this broken. Also infinites, Clay Fighter, Tiny, Battle Fantasia, Ash. Battle Fantasia features a parry type move called a Gachi. Holding forward while performing a successful Gachi causes the opponent to wall bounce and puts them in a state that allows for new juggle combos. This infinite is only possible while the opponent is in this post Gachi state. The GP rider music in this video is so, so cool. All right, but the background music are horrible and very loud. No, the song is amazing. What song is I it? don't think melodic jazz fusion is the best choice of music for a compilation of infinite combos. What's the background music? It's so good. Could we get a version of this that doesn't have the music drowning out literally every clip here? I'm totally blind, and this makes the video useless to me. Always makes me smile to see Mortal Kombat on this channel. The game trying to stop Raiden's Infinity in MK and failing is funny. You can also do the MK Infinite with Kano. Due to the fact that Kano is pushed back much further than Raiden here, he is not actually able to perform this Infinite. Here is a variation of the combo that is possible with Kano.
I think you, Yuhakusho's niece, was full of infinite air juggles. This game seems to have a relatively loose juggle system. This means that if the opponent is in the corner, infinites become quite trivial. So great to see some Game Boy love here. KOF 96 on Game Boy is truly an amazing title, one of my personal favorites. If you want to explore a bit more on this console, there is an infinite in Fatal Fury 2 GB. Dubai's special grab, hold back forward plus P, can be looped infinitely. It grabs the opponent on the floor. Even Joe on Real Bout Fatal Fury Special has a corner infinite. There are many games missing with infinites, e.g. Double Dragon, Karnov's Revenge. In this game, you can perform instant air attacks from a forward hop. Although often quite difficult, this gives many characters infinite combos. In Karnov's Revenge, Yulmi has an air sonic boom special that can be performed very close to the ground. It recovers so quickly that it can combo back into itself, creating a single move, infinite. You could probably do a compilation like this just for Guilty Gear 1. All of these combos take advantage of charge cancelling. This effectively removes recovery time from normals and allows most characters to perform infinites 